When I came to the village of Tegeshan, I knew that something was terribly wrong in there. The whole village was infested with brooding mushrooms of all types and covered in slime. Bad sign. I should have turned away and left Tegeshan right there and then. But I was tired from my travels and needed work. So I went deeper into the village, asking locals if there was any work that needed to be done. I was told to speak to Uu Ho Ho Hu From his name I knew that he was a baboon. Or to Haunivur the Erudite, who later I found out was the mayor of this damn village. While trying to find at least one of them, I stumbled into a turret, a musket mounted on an automated tripod, a frozen place. I was afraid for no reason, because it was 4BOE, a warden of this place. Never have I seen a sentient turd before, and a warden nonetheless. In his company I found the baboon I was looking for, though, who asked me to locate a place called Kerr, which he heard about from some wraiths who were visiting the village the other day. Another bad sign. As well, he told me that the mayor is inside his hut. I managed to find it easily, but the way in was blocked by a huge mushroom. Something is wrong in here for certain. Hoping that nobody will mind, I broke my way in through the wall and found Haunibur inside. He was a friend of fungi. Bad signs are piling up now. He asked me to find a grandfather horn which was lost. He blamed Diam, the Dromad merchant, for this. While I was trying to speak with another hermit residing in the hut, Diam stormed in shouting at the mayor. He probably didn't like to be blamed for losing that horn. The erudite said something in reply, which must have been an insult, because Diam started punching him right away, and from there on it became worse and worse. I was trying to stop them, but it was of no use. Mayor launched into a flurry of attacks and started spraying acid all over the hut. Diam was running away for his life now, and half of the village went after him. Hoon kept spraying acid all over, hurting villagers that were trying to help him, looting the baboon. Eventually, he caught up with Diam and shoved him into a brooding gold puff, and while the merchant was screaming in pain, he sprayed more acid on him, and in a few seconds, there was nothing left of Diam, not even a single bone. At that point, the hermit from the mayor's hut and the baboon were already trying to stop the mayor, but he was having none of that. Hoan proceeded to chase them down and covered both of them in acid. They were screaming in agony until there was nothing left of them. I could not believe what I have witnessed. Haun went back to his hut and acted as if nothing ever happened. The mad mare had to be stopped, but at this point I was in no shape to face him. So I decided to leave the village, to find some food, to scavenge some gear and to train until one day I could come back and put a stop to these senseless killings. I looked for some caves close by until I have found one. It looked like a hellhole, but it was all there was. I've met some baboons living in there and I was never before so happy to have a bloodstained neck ring on me as then, because one of them was a kindle-thumbed baboon and had the power to shoot ghostly flames from his hand. I proceeded to search the cave, when from the darkness a burst of flames came my way. I managed to dodge it and hid behind the wall. Soon after, two snapjaws ran towards me, and without hesitation I swung my wine reaper and killed both of them. After some time I decided to move. Carefully I walked to the north of the cave, and at that point I felt a horrible pain in my head, like some invisible hand would squeeze my brain. The pain was so great that I fell on my knees, holding my head. I kept hearing the voice in my head saying, It was you who let the mare out of his heart. If not you, all this innocent people would still be alive. After that, there was only silence. I have failed. The mad mare is still ruling over the Tageshan and my body is left for wild beasts to devour.